Going live. Oh, somebody's here already. Who's that thing? Mark Dice. Mad Dino. Welcome. You're the only one here? Five people. Getting better at this. See, I had it all. I tweeted it out. Facebooked it out. Everything before I went live. So, well, I'm going to just do a small. I don't know how long this will be, but we figured. A lot of people ask me about some stuff in the background over here. So, I figured we'd kind of tour the junk room, if you guys don't mind. Um, see if I can see y'all's chat, I hope. But I'm going to give a few more minutes to get a few more people here. We only got two. Two people, so uh, you're just gonna have to hang with me real quick while we get a little bit more. Seven, seven. Let's see how many more we can get before we start. Hey, Jumpman, Cherry's always here. Where are you from, Cherry? I mean, every time I post a video within the first 30 seconds, you reply to it. So it's like you're always sitting at your computer waiting for the next video. Um, you die our fans, yeah. And I'm gonna give away a free t shirt to one of you guys in the chat room. So let's get a little bit more here. Wait a few more minutes. We only been one minute. Give it a few more minutes to get the word out, and you can win a free t-shirt. That's right, I should have said that on the Twitter when I tweeted it out. Yeah, I didn't know I was doing this either. I was cleaning the junk room up, and I said, hey, my son's playing the PlayStation, and I'm up here by myself, and I said, hey, let me go live. I'm still toying with the idea of maybe every other Saturday night, maybe a live stream at a certain time. I just gotta get better at live streams, guys. Junk man, you are hilarious. Oh, don't I know it. If you say so, man. Okay, the chat's really far away, so if I can't read your name, sorry. I'm you're going to see me doing like this like an old man. Or I guess I can read it like this. Get out. Wander around again. Hopefully. Oh, I've got a new location coming up. I'm going to try to do it next week. If I can, it's going to be the following week. But if you like the location I did last time, this is not an abandoned place, but it's a very, very old place. And I'm talking thousands of years old that's what i'm gonna do the next video yeah i was gonna do the rack video that i did today there but it's getting kind of cold and it rained all week so i got to find out what video i can do video i can do there it has to be a video where i can walk and talk and not give a whole lot of detail because i have to go out of memory i don't have my computer next to me i got my computer next to me here so i can take a cheat and look at the notes okay 18 let's get to 20 people and then we will tour the room i guess Oh, we can do just a fast tour like that. I hope this little phone will fire, this little stand thing. I love your video, sir. Thank you. No, sir, needed. David Jones. We put the monkeys? Uh-oh. Junk man, you you could do also do a live stream gaming if you didn't install. I did some, I hadn't done Fallout, but I did some old, old games where I played the old Nintendo games. Didn't do really too good, but I didn't really set up nice, so I needed to try that again. Can't really play new stuff. I love when you say, fatigues. I always hated that word, fatigues. My brother used to always use it. Okay, 24 people. Let's see the original closet. I cleaned out the original closet a few weeks ago, and I thought about doing a video in there. You know, it's kind of a funny thing, but I might have to do that. Now, we're going to look around the room. And uh, two likes. I got eight. I'm showing eight. Um, look around the, to the toy room. We're not going to go this way because that's where all the junk is. Look at all that. That's my view when I do a video, guys. That's what I see. We're not even going to venture that way. I mean, you, there's still a Christmas tree over there. So, well, y'all ready? Let's go ahead and tour the room. And, and near the end of this, I'm going to give away a free t-shirt if you can answer a junk man trivia. Uh, you might not be able to answer it right away. You might have to go back and watch because it's about another video. Uh, but if you get it, just put it in the comments or send me an email, junk at starwarsjunk.net. And let me know the answer. And first one gets a shirt. If you're in the U.S., I'm not paying for no shipping across the country. Our country, across the, across the states. States. What am I talking about? Okay. Anyway, let's go. We want to tour, take a tour of the junk room. Uh, I'm trying to see the best way to do this so I can still see the chats. And that's the squeaky chair. We all know about the squeaky chair, don't we? Look at that. Oh, I need to buy a new one. I'm gonna suck that gut in. Okay. Let's go over here. Um, can I change? Okay, guys, I'm going to change the camera angle. I can't see the chat right now, so uh, I don't think... Well, I might be able to see the chat. Yeah, I can still see the chat. Okay, what we got here? We've got, of course, these bigger... You need a teleprompter. I actually thought about getting a teleprompter, but I'm not really good at reading. I think it wouldn't do any good. But I have been thinking of it, to be honest. But I don't really write much. Yeah, I need to put them down. I need to throw the whole thing away. I hate it. It's ugly. But anyway, we got these right here. Got them up at GameStop. These, and some, I think I had two of them. And then some, one of you guys, one of you guys that like my channel sent me the rest. But I always like those. This tells the vintage card. I don't have much now. 
that's not real. I know what you're thinking. Jumpman, you got a reproduction. You got a fate. You got a bootleg. You are against it. Why do you have it? Why is it hanging on your wall? Well, first, it's marked that's not real, so I like that. Second, it was a gift from one of you guys. Send it to me. And I might not go out and buy it and support it, but if somebody sends me something, I'm not going to be ruined though in the trash. Uh, that's the from that's the Hasbro one they did around 2009, 2010. That has the rocket that fires off. Let's see, uh, Kylo Ren, right here. Got this at Target for 99 cent. Right when it came out, Target had some kind of issue where if you scanned it, it came up as a Hot Wheel, and it wasn't just one Target. It was all over the whole U.S. But it was random. It was some targets did it, some didn't. And you could get it for 99 cents. I should have bought a bunch of them. And, of course, that's Kylo Ren's saber right there. I had a lot of those other sabers. I'd even get them out and get them up here. Is that the Hasbro Skiff? Yes, sadly it is. We'll get there in just a Well, not the new one. Okay, the Skiff. I want the original tattoo. Kenner Skiff, but can't afford it. Never can find it in a price I can afford. This is the one I think it was released by Target, am I right? Target, late 90s. Uh, same mold was used. Some of the paint's different and everything, but that's as close as I can get right now. I always love the skiff. It always looked good. Sorry for the shaking. It always looked good. Yeah, $8 ain't bad for it either. But that's the skiff, the Hasbro one. Again, I wish I had the original. But down here, I think you all know what that is. No, you're not going to see my bathroom. I do my private business there. That's a hoverboard. It came with one of those uh, loot crate things. I always liked it. It looked pretty cool. Single valuable I own. Huh, that's a good question. Probably the, I don't, I had to sell a lot a while back. Maybe the diecast tie bomber. Yak face loose, maybe. Or a man to man on card. Nothing really extreme. Uh, this is a Mickey Mouse, Indiana Jones, before Disney bought Indiana Jones, I guess so. Kind of weird. Snow I do need to get a, I need to get a snow speeder myself, to be honest. I had, I've got one. Well, I got a newer one over there, but this is the Cantina, as you can see. Uh LJN Temple of Doom. Indy is uh doing the bar. Got Walrus Man over there. Got uh Red Snaggletooth. Got Greedo pulling a gun on him, and he got a hammerhead doing a gangster lean. Why? Oh, T2, I just missed what you said. It faded away right when I read it. So if you can, put it back out there. T2 is really good. Check out his channel. Goes all over Terminator 2, like from the beginning. Kind of goes in order. It's a really good channel. Check it out. I don't have a link to it, but <laughs> search. Uh, maybe he can put the link here. Uh, it's, it's a T2 uh, YouTube channel. Really good. If you're in the Terminator, really check that out. Panda Baba. We do not say Panda Baba in this house. We say Walrus Man. And of course, you got the Avenge figures on the skiff. You got Lando. I don't got his helmet on him. I don't know why. Clay 2 and Baraka. Right there, Baraka. Yeah. Okay, let's go over here. We've got a 2009, the Hasbro with a firing rocket that was released. A uh, prototype, now that's another one that's a fake. That's another one somebody sent me they made. It looks really good, though. Again, I don't mind reproduction if it was something that's never released. I mean, that's not going to fool anybody. But it's kind of cool to have. The rocket falls out really, really easy. But again, one of you guys sent that to me. Uh, so I had to put it on the show. And then we got these little mini arcades. You know, uh, the other day I was at Cracker Barrel. And they had one of these arcades. It was a mini tabletop. Pac-Man, I think it was. And I haven't seen those before. Definitely got to uh, get back those. I don't buy them at Cracker Barrel for the 20 bucks. So hopefully Walmart get them because they're like $13 at Walmart, $20 at Cracker Barrel. Uh, all right, a super chat. Thank you, Jeff, for the $2 super chat. means a lot. Glad I caught that one. There's a cartoon style Boba Fett Funko Pop. I don't have many pops, but I have a few. Pops from one thing. Do you have any Turkish? No, I wish I had a Turkish Star Wars figure. Uh, this is one of my favorites though right here. Let me go up slow, dr dramatic effect right here. Did a video on it, so you can see it more in that video. But that is it. That is the Boba Fett 12-inch Kenner Vintage Complete. Complete Boba Fett. I really love this one. I actually got a pretty good deal of a toy show on it a while back. And I really like it. It looks really good. I would spin it around, but uh, see if I can get up over here. 
You don't want to drop it, so. And as you can see, he stand right next to the vintage skiff, oh, skiff, vintage, uh, I think, uh, Stormtrooper, Wookie Brakes. Yeah, well, you know, I heard something. Oh, am I missing? Oh, there's, I miss. there's the Wookie Braids. Can't hardly see them. Uh, $2 if you smash that shuttle. No, that's okay. I actually had to sell my other shuttle after a divorce, so. Well, no, I lied. I sold my actual, another shuttle I had when I only had one to buy Mario Kart. And I keep my, I hated myself for doing that after I bought Mario Kart. But, um, you know, I heard a rumor back before the prequels came out that they were going to change the Wookiee Scouts to be Jedi Scouts on the Mandalorians. And I always thought that was a little cool, cool plan, but they never went through with it. But uh, I'll show you this right here. He put a figure on it and it spins around. It's solar power, so I thought it looked pretty good sitting in the back of a video spinning around. But it doesn't work if you don't put a battery in it. So, I mean, what's the point of having a uh, solar panel? It didn't make any sense. And it was really loud. It would and spin around. Oh, I'm running out of breath here already. Okay. Got the shuttle. As you can see, there's a TIE Fighter pilot in there. Kind of odd choice. And you have Mandalorian standing on the shuttle. Hey, thanks for the super set. $5 closer to get that snow spitter. I do need to get one. I need to get back into get some of the ships I miss. And I got three figures that's not complete. I got to finish up. Okay, everybody there? I don't know what happened there. Kind of lost the stream, y'all. Hopefully everybody's still there. Uh, let me go back. What fingers are you... I have to look. I know I'm missing... It's like an Ewok, the microphones, the Max Rebo band, and a, one other. How do I flip the screen? Okay. Oh, I just missed that last chat. Sorry. The shuttle. Now, where was I? The shuttle. With well, a Mandalorian on it. There's Mandalorian right there. Glad I found him for you. The show came out before he got really rare. Um, actually, I think it was one of you guys that sent me that. Still here. Okay. Glad everybody's still here. But that's the shuttle. I love this shuttle. Let's see if I can get down here and look at it real good. There, see, it gleads up into the uh, actual ship. Do you have Dungeons and Dragons playset? No, I don't have anything Dungeons and Dragons. But see, you can see up into the shuttle. Look, that's pretty neat. But let's go on down to this next shelf. Of course, you get two vintage figures behind glass because the ones I don't want to get messed up. Uh, Blue Snaggletooth and Yak Face. Uh, you got some of the die-cast ships. I got a TIE Bomber, but it's downstairs. I need to bring it up here. Kind of keep it separate. Got the Falcon. Pick this up one on the Toy Hunt videos, I believe. Uh, Y-Wing. You see it has a little droid in the back. And a Slave 1. never really liked the Slave 1 because they didn't paint it real good. You know, there's no paint to it. And it's got a little Boba Fett in there. Can you see it? How big is your Ewok? <laughs> That's what she asked me. Okay, we've got a couple of newer stuff here. we got a Black Series Spiker Scout. I actually find it at Toys Us. The box was damaged, and they had it on clearance really cheap. It was really rare for them to do that. One of you uh, guys sent me this speeder bike back here. I don't have a biker on it, but it's pretty cool. Look how big it is compared to... I mean, this is Black Series. So, you know, it's a big figure. Look how big that one is back there. That religious Ewok Tebow. Ooh. Okay, who knows this? Blake 7. Right there, Blake 7 with the Way Back Spacefall. The first two episodes of Blake 7 on VHS. If you've never seen Blake 7, check it out. You can watch it free on YouTube. Uh, British science fiction show. Trust me, you'll enjoy it. Uh, let's see what we got. We got Ray on our little popsicle ice cream thing. I always thought it was a really good looking figure. I really like look Ray. Sorry, guys. No, you're going to be like, ooh, a rip-off movie. But I really like Ray. I uh, got Luke with the Land Speeder. See if I can get a better angle. And I don't like the loop, so I'll put him way back there. Get out of the way. I don't like him, exactly. <laughs> I get drunk and stumble around. Uh, who knows? Maybe soon. Got a uh, sand trooper. Looks really good. Now let's go down here. Mm. Have a vintage Han Halt on car, but it's been glued. Somebody glued it back. If I don't eBay for like three bucks or something. I'm really cheap on eBay. It wasn't three bucks. It was more than that. It was like ten bucks. So I was like, I'll get it. He, I mean, it's not like it's gonna fool anybody. Try to rip anybody off. You can tell it's glued. Not even glued. Good. So I thought it was kind of neat to have. Look, somebody originally bought it for a dollar ninety-seven. But I like that. I like. I used, I used to want to collect all the cards, and you can't believe the cards are actually worth a lot of money. Finding a good card. Uh, 
the retro figure stole got this at target i almost just stole a walmart they were throwing it away and i said give me that i need that so i don't know if y'all guys want me to go through all these this is kind of newer stuff i don't know if y'all care about that okay mark uh, mark get over here on the live stream but uh let me know if y'all want me to dig all them out uh y'all know who this is That is Gangster Chewbacca, one of the ugliest hats I've ever seen in my life. But I love that hat. It's so goofy and vintage and old. Love it. Um, I'll go through it anyway. Uh, Stranger Things. Just bought that because it was so cheap. It was like $2 at Target, so I got it. Got a Hooper. Now I don't have all the Jaws, but I do have the Shark. And again, it's downstairs. I do the voice. I don't have, I can't do the voice because I can't change the, I can't change it. I uh, got Escape from New York. Got the Terminator ones. Y'all probably seen all these. Back to the Future, Breaking Bad, Terminator. Y'all probably seen all these. I mean, they've been out for a while. So, but that's Gangster Chewbacca. I'm going to get some necklaces for him, some gold necklaces. So when he appears in videos, he looks more gangster. It's been something I've been putting off, but. Okay, let's see what we got over here. I got a R2 Lego that I won at Target exclusive target giveaway did a whole video on it if you want to know more about it not many people watched it but here it is that's, that's it right there target never really won anything at a store but i won that one and back here hidden of course i got gamecube games and my son's got some playstation like some wii u games. hey i gotta do thank you donate goes yearly bath fees it does take a lot to bad but thank you so much for the super super chat you should hang all these guys up g yeah how oh, all these guys over here i need more space and I'm hoping to move in the next couple of months. So that would be my plan if I get a bigger space. Uh, I got Hardware Wars on VHS. When you guys sent me that too. Now check this out. Maybe I can embarrass myself here. Uh, let's see here. I, mean, I like the game. Me and my son still play GameCube like almost every weekend. Here's a script I, I wrote. Oh, man, it's, by, it's a murder mystery, but I just want to see. Well, they get accused of killing the president's daughter. <laughs> I, I have not read this in years. I should sit down and read it. But I wanted some actually toy jokes and stuff in here. They hide out at a Toys R Us. So I wanted to see if I could find that page. Oh, here we go. Look, it's a fucking TRU. We all know TRU, Toys Us. Who's going to look look? Who's going to look at a toy store for two alleged murderers? Oh. And see, I go on. This guy wants to talk about figures. This is a Captain Kirk, the second captain of the Starfleet Enterprise. What a show. Hey, I have a good question. What do you think Captain Kirk would have done if he was found his daughter? Ugh. Okay, y'all don't want me to read the whole thing, but it's actually a script I wrote. Uh, I need to sit down and read that. God, I don't know if it's bad or good. Uh, see, these boxes just hold up the shelving, so... Send your script to Netflix. Hey, maybe so. Maybe I'll have enough uh, viewers in here. All YouTubers like to make movies, so maybe one day I'll be able to make a movie. Autographed picture of Natalie Portman. I got about five or six autographs of her before she was in the, before she was even in Star Wars. I was a Natalie Portman nerd after I saw Leon and the and the Beautiful Girls, one of my favorite movies. No, I didn't pitch it to anyone. I always said I was, I never did. Never did nothing with it. You might be asking yourself, what are these? Why does Chuck Man have Kohler catalogs here? These are all the vintage um, Marvel comics. Issue 1 through 107. And the annuals all right there. Uh, let's see what this is. These are the Galaxy cards. Look at this. The pages are all stuck together. I don't know you can read. Not very good. Look, all the, did y'all hear that? All the pages are stuck together. Kind of like that old porn magazine I had when I was 16. Different reasons, though. Love your channel. I have a huge Star Wars collection, too. I don't have a huge one. After my divorce, I didn't. I had more at one time, but, uh... Yes, you did. Yeah, yes, yes. Jeff, thank you. You did send me a number one. Uh, look at this. It's kind of like the, uh... Anakin from the Power of the Force card. Droids card. Uh, the A-Wing card. Power of the Force, Skiff package. But these are all these Galaxy cards, Series 1. It even has the uh, promotional cards. These were promotional. Uh, got the, uh, look at that one. It's kind of 
foil cards, I guess they call them. Back in the 90s, it was always fun to collect trading cards. Look, okay, let's see if I can put this back in here. Oh, and the chick oh let's see what is in this one. I don't even remember what's all in this one. I got these free when I was a sales rep for Kohler, so I made the best I used out of them. That's good. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be more Natalie Portman stuff. All right, another five. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, two dollars. Thank you both, guys. I didn't catch the name of the one. It faded away. Sorry. Uh, let's see if I can pull. I can't. Oh, there it is. So happy to catch this live. I had a skateboarding. Oh, no. That's bad. Well, sorry about that. You know, I had a skateboarding accident. and busted out my two front teeth one time. So I know how you feel. Um, and Bruce, thank you for the super chat also. But here's Natalie Portman and Vanity Fair. What year is this? I don't know. Natalie Portman with Leon. Now they part with no shoes on. Oh, I felt kind of weird having these. But another, oh, I bought all these. Here's a Natalie Portman autograph magazine from when she was in Anne Frank. Oh. Natalie Port, uh, no, just Star Wars. Vanity Fair. I was in the 90s, I was obsessed with this movie, so. Oh, uh, you and McGregor, that's a great cover. I would love that as a poster. That's a great cover. And what if there's a Lannis Morissette? I don't know what's in that one. <laughs> Shouldn't induce Varmini. Oh, uh, another autographed picture of Natalie Portman holding her gun. I don't know how I could wear any. We got those. And I don't know what this is. This is something. That's nothing. Just a piece of cardboard. <laughs> I don't know if you want to spank to a lot of those. A lot of them, she's like 13. Okay, sorry guys, not really good angle right here, but let me put this back. Put this back here. Oh, okay. Y'all there? Everybody there? Dropped it again. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's see. It's, it's hard to get these out. I don't know if these are even worth getting out, but let's just take a look. Oh, I was going to say, there ain't nothing in there. Cut that off. These look like vintage cards, but they're not. They were released around the time uh, Rise of Skywalker came out. You see, they even have vintage style Rise of Skywalker. He even has the prequels in a vintage style. See the Phantom Menace. But then it's got some old Star Wars cards in a vintage style also. So, like that. I right, see. Oh man, I used to have those. My ex stole them from me. Well, that's a good thing she's an ex then, I guess. Um, here's a book I often reference or go back to. Uh, if you're into collecting, it's really just got some of the. Oh, another Natalie Portman autograph. Oh my God. But it's just really good for matching up what weapons go with him. Who? It's got some of the newer, but uh, mostly it's vintage stuff. Really good for that. <laughs> Caitlin Jennings. Okay, I'll call you that. Caitlin Jennings. Very good. Very good book. Check it out if you ever come across it. And here's a picture my son drew me, drew, did for me when he was real little. It's He-Man versus Skeletor. And if anybody just came in, I'm going to give away a free t-shirt very soon. So, let's see if I can get this. In fact, I'll put this book back later so I don't drop anything. Mark O'Colley, watching Skies. Check out this book. If you grew up in the 80s, you'll like it. If you're into Steven Spielberg and Star Wars and stuff, you'll like it. I actually did an interview with him, so check that out. Uh, a book about the trading cards. One of you guys out there sent me that. Uh, GameCube manual. Why do I still have this laying around? Look, all the codes for GameCube manual. And, of course, I didn't realize I had so much stuff from this movie. I can't even read this one. Look at this one. It's written. Look at this. I can't even read it. But if you're into that movie, The Professional, this is a great book just for the pictures. Look at that. Uh-oh. Gee, what is it? It's got a whole storyboard from the movie. Like, Look at that. Yeah, Almost every scene. 
And it's written in Japanese, can't read it, but still, pretty cool book, if you ask me anyway. So let's get back to the, I'll clean all that up later, like I said, huh? Got Star Wars, laser disc right there. Uh, let's see what else. We got a Death Star ball. That one's been in the video a lot, of course. A crystal skull. Uh, I thought about doing a video on the Star Wars trading cards, but I can't really think of anything to say about it, so I never really have. Yeah, Ron was a pretty good movie, too. Got a little Pez guy. I don't know why I have him. Got Darth Vader hiding back here in the back. Hey, Darth. No, I haven't taken on an out of the plastic in 20 years. I probably need to. Got an alien from, what, the 90s? I think that's the two-pack one that came with the Predator. You remember? Do you have any of the vintage car cardboard play sets? I don't know if you can see it. Land of the Jaw was right there. I don't really have many play sets. I need to get back into the, getting the play sets. Yes, I need to take those cards out. Okay, now, um, Alien, Kenner. 1978, right? Uh, I actually found this in one of the hunting videos, and then that video got copyright flagged, so it was taken down and lost forever. Don't you say farm boy, Luke. Uh, a great magazine. If you ever want to get a mag get this magazine. If you ever find it, Starlog, the 10th anniversary of Star Wars, you want to read that. Trust me. There's a lot of stuff people ask me. How'd you come up? What made you do a video on that? Or how'd you hear about that? Right there has helped a lot. Uh, you can actually read it online for free. There's a website that has all the old star log on free PDF and you can read it uh, You actually flip through it like it's a magazine and everything. So check that out. I Mean star log was our internet back in the day So check that out. It's really good got my VHS collection here I mostly try to stay with the 80s, but as you can see there's might be a few 90s in there got crocodile Dundee dogma Star Wars Logan's run rarest figure Nothing really rare anymore. I had a double tip lightsaber loop, but the saber broke. So I'm guessing Yak Face. I had a Boba Fett on the Droids cards. And I had to sell it last summer. Yeah, this alien is missing some things, but still, I picked it up for like 20 bucks. So I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, get there. I'll get to that both in just a second. Got a Borg right here. Uh, what was that store? Movie Stop had them. On clearance and you see who's peeking behind hey Larry there's Larry right there who found Luke Sabre on Cloud City oh okay I'll have to see who found it uh, I don't have a garage uh, there's Indiana Jones this is my original Indiana Jones VHS I got when it first came out it has a teaser for Temple of Doom my grandma got it for Christmas for me at $50 we thought that was crazy got a little he-man here and a gentle giant, vintage style. Let me get see. As Larry peeking at, as guy, little Han. Remember those mugs? They're kind of like Hasbro's answer to pop figures. But that's General Giant, Boba Fett. I can't really. You know, I try to get it with no glare on it. It's pretty cool. Wouldn't mind having one loose just to have sit up with this car. It's a really cheap plastic filling when you take it out of the box, but overall. It's, uh, it's pretty good. This right here, people was asked about this as a banner. Got about 10 of them in the box. But I wanted to cover up the window behind this. So it's just a banner. It's got the coming soon, the trilogy on VHS. And I thought, that would be good to hang it up with. I like that. Yeah, that's a cool looking He-Man. I got Skeletor too. We'll get Skeletor in a second here. VHS movies. So you got all the Star Wars ones and then you got them down here. Now two of these, that one and... One of these two, I <laughs> kind of mixed up, is beta. It's not VHS. You'd think it was on the box. Maybe these two are beta. Um, no, it's, it's a blind on the back side, but light would come through it. Uh, the Vintage Falcon. I haven't been able to get the back leg fixed yet, so I used this uh, Death Star to prop it up. That's... Uh, that's the Falcon. I, I just got this piece probably a couple of months ago. Really great. Had it as a kid, but now I finally got it again. Got a Micro Machine Falcon here. Uh-oh, squeaky chair. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you like this stuff. I got the Micro Figures down there. Got a Diecast Falcon. Had another one over there. 
I have two now because one of them I dug up out of the ground. There, maybe that'll help some. Uh, I got the Black Series back here, the Bounty Hunter. I need the other Bounty Hunters. I need Forlaw, Zuckus, Dengar. Put Bosch with them, but she's okay there. Got the uh, Star Wars novel. Of course, a land speeder with 3PO in it. Why 3PO? I don't know. And look at this. My original, that's my original Nintendo as a child or teen. It's got my sticker on it from Bartman. Remember when Bartman was cool? Don't doubt it works. And I haven't plugged it in in years, but there it is. Where's my Golden Girl collection? That's a whole nother room. I have a whole room dedicated to Golden Girls. Golden Girls. I'm sure you guys remember this. You've probably seen some videos too. Ooh. Where's the camera? Maybe I can... Okay. Oh. I, was trying, I was trying to be funny here and drop the camera again. I do that a lot, so let's put that back here. Uh, I got Star Wars. This is a great VHS set, the original cut of Star Wars, letterboxed. Very good. Yeah, put the Viewmaster in there. Put the cartoon. Okay. Got a Empire lunchbox, some more VHS tapes. And Star Wars lunchbox. Now I just need a Jedi lunchbox. That's my plan. I've got a Temple of Doom lunchbox. I can't find it. Got this I picked up. Of course, you've probably all seen that. I got that not too long ago. I need to put a stripe on it. Let's see here. This is my original R5-D4. I don't have many figures that my original that I played with as a kid. But that's one. You can tell that's why he's all beat up. I see people sometimes like, hey, you can take that figure and put a new sticker on it. Or fix that figure. I was like, why do I want to fix a figure up? That's play value. I like that. That reminds me of my childhood because it's been played with so much. And there's a eraser. I did a whole video on those erasers. Check that out if you haven't. See what we got over here. We got a Tauntaun uh, with Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Any Jones riding it? So I'm trying to keep it with his chest. Sorry if I missed some. And then you got the Kenner. Let me try to sit. Oh, let me move. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. It's going to be a little bouncy. Okay, you got... Does that help? You got... Finally got a hat for my Indiana Jones. It's an ugly hat. Man, that's an ugly hat. Oh, was it Jeff? Jeff, you the one sent me the Empire Lunch Life? Thank you so much. Sometimes you guys send me stuff and I... You know, right then I remember who it is, but then it's like, okay, who sent me that? Who sent me this later? And I feel bad. I say piss, okay? Got trap jaw. Love trap jaw. Um, Empire thing has the thermos in it, but not Star Wars. Or it might be the other way around. Uh, got the Burger King glasses. Somebody keeps asking me to do video on the glasses. Still just trying to find out a way to do it. It's different or something, but you didn't send me that Indiana Jones on the Tauntaun. I just bought that one off of eBay. Well, that's you the one that sold it to me on eBay. <laughs> Uh, got a X-Wing right here. Mayor Construction He-Man. I don't, you mean He-Man? No? Mayor Construction He-Man? I don't know. Um, X-Wing, very good looking shipping. X-Wing, a mug of, um, Motor Rom. Got Stallone and Rambo. You should Motor Rom that up your wazoo. Okay, I'll try to do that, Jay. Um, got the Golden Idol, which is just a bank. It's just got a little slot to put money in. I thought it was really cool looking. As you can see here, I got the medallion, the Staff of Ra, alien holding it. Uh, you got Lamont Sanford and Fred Sanford hanging out on the first floor of the Death Star. Well, I guess technically, I guess that's the second floor. Um, got Luke Stormtrooper. But this little robot, somebody, was it Jeff? Somebody sent me this little robot, too. I like it. It's just kind of a generic one, I think, but I do like it. Yep, there you look at him. You big dummy, you got us on the Death Star. Pop, pop, pop. I, did, I, I didn't know where it was. I thought it was a moon. That's no moon, you big dummy. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, we got Tarkin. Finally got Tarkin on the Death Star playset. Look at that. And an Imperial Gunner. One of my favorite figures.
Rollo. Yeah, Rollo died today. I just saw that on the news. And this torture must have died too. Rollo, the guy that played Rollo passed away. Um, got the Kenner gun, laser pistol. It's missing the little screws on the back that hold the battery compartment on. Um, yeah, Rollo passed away. Gray too. Well, Gray passed away years ago. Darth Vader, that Darth Vader is a corkscrew, believe it or not. Found that at an antique store. Pretty cheap. A uh, few carded figures I do have. Yeah, I have Bosk. Not Bosk. Bosch. Uh, Princess Leia. One of the Clay 2 guys. Oh, let's see what we got up here. We got a Amanda Man. Somebody got mad because he had Amanda Man earlier. And uh, trying to be funny, but sometimes my, fun, sometime my funny doesn't reach everybody. So, there's a Good Morning Guard on a Jedi card. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back down here. Got Job of the Hut. Uh, it's missing this. I had this little thing. I can't find it now. So I need to complete that Job of the Hut. Um, know what we got here? Okay, we got the retro figures. I need a Stormtrooper. I got a Stormtrooper on order though. Uh, Pac-Man glasses. These are glasses I had as a kid. So still my rich. Same thing with these. These are glasses I had as a kid. Uh, that's the only reason I bought them. I mean, that's the only reason I still have them. Got the board game here that comes with a Tarkin. Got a board game here that doesn't. Got the original and the Tarkin one. The Tarkin one and another original one right there. I've got too many escapes from Death Star games. Too many. Uh, of course, we got Rancor right here. He's getting ready to play some Nintendo. Got a Flintstone glass. Yeah, I've got some Star Wars books hidden back there. Got a... Oh, let's see. Let's go up this way here. And here it is. Anybody's been watching my videos knows the Jumpman hat is now in the video. It's made us, it's changed. I now wear the hat with the logo, my Jumpman logo on it, which is the blue snaggletooth belt buckle. And the old hat, ugly, dirty. Let's see how, how dirty it is. Ugly, dirty hat is now retired to a first order trooper. And go down here. We got this. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. He's no good to me dead. I think there's another button sound. As you wish. Now I need to escape from just our game. Oh, I, yeah, I'd actually have it somewhere or had it somewhere. Hmm, that's Boba Fett right there. Come from the Disney store. And we've got a box to the Death Star. Pick this up on like a, wasn't Craigslist, but it's one of those apps. And the guy was like, I don't know what you want for it. Ten dollars? Just a box. And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. So, I took it as a Mountain Dew cap. And a vintage ad at Not complete. Need to add a little bit more to it. And this is, some people have asked me what this is. If you watched my video live stream last night, you probably know. Uh, let me stand back up. Oh. oh. That got me dizzy. Um... These are vintage figures. This is where I keep them. Found this at like Lowe's or something. You're supposed to put screws in it, but what real man's gonna put nolts and bolts in it when you can put toys in it, right? So I've got Star Wars Empire. Say then it goes into Jedi down here. That one won't hardly open. And then it goes into the Power of the Force. Everything here is complete and loose, but like I said, I got three figures. It's not. Um, a lot of people say, does it count? Does it count as complete? Ugh. If you don't have the coin with the power of the force, I count it. The figure is complete. I count it as the weapons. I don't count the coin as a complete figure. Yes, it's really good. I wish they were all the small ones like this, but it's okay to double them up. But it's really good and actually fits them all in there. So it's really good to put them in. That way I can still get them out. You know, if I want to... I, I was going to get like a glass case to put them in, but then I, mean, I got the original 12 in a glass case and I can't get them out. These, if I want to see one, if I want to touch one, if I want to hold one, want to play with one, want to do a video with one, I got them right here. I can grab them and talk about them. Oh, let's see here. I guess that's... Oh, uh oh No, that's not a dead rat. That is my Chuck Wendig beard when I do my videos at Chuck Wendig, which I haven't done. Kind of retired that because people was like, Who, who's Chuck Wendig? So I kind of had to retire that one. Show you guys a little magic secret. If you watch my drunk videos, this is it. My Jim Bean barbecue sauce. 
that has tea in it. Hate to break the illusion on you guys, but a lot of you like that drunk video I did. So I think I think I need to find a way to do another one. And there's a Mario sign. I don't think I said anything about it. Uh, so let's put that back. Of course, this is my view. This is the computer. It's missing an E and an R that fell off. I can't get them back on. It's hard. It's a pain ass to type on. So I'm gonna take it so I can get it fixed. Sadly, but that's my view when I'm talking to you guys. And my jacket over there. But that's my view. <laughs> I miss you. I'm better at it. I've never had alcohol in my life. Never been drunk. But people's like, oh, are you really drunk? I was like, no, no. And of course, this you've seen in the videos. Star World. From the carrying case. To kind of bootleg carrying case. <laughs> yeah, the closet. Like I, I don't know if you were here. I said, I cleaned out that closet. And I've been about doing the video from there. It's kind of... Hey, remember the closet? Thought it might be kind of fun. <laughs> hey, I can still have fun. Might not be drunk, but I can still, I can still cut a fool and I like it. Oh, you can still roof at me. I mean, I've had a sip of alcohol and stuff like that, but I've never been a, never liked the taste. I've never been a, a drinker. But here I'm out with a Whalen Jennings shirt on, living in the South. So you think I would at least have moonshine? I just never something I never cared to do. It's not like. I'm not like, oh, you shouldn't drink, you shouldn't do that. It's nothing like that. Just never care for the taste. Never got into it, so just never did. And maybe it's because also my brother was a little older than me. Late teens, early 20s, drink a lot, a lot. So maybe I saw that and some things he did, and maybe because I was probably about 12 or 13, so that might have turned me off to it. But really, I think it's just, I just don't really care for it. I'm really picky. Smoke weed, <laughs> smoke weed. Well, in high school, I did. Have it in years. I don't even know where to get weed now if I wanted to smoke it. I'm not against it. If somebody brings me something, I might try it. But, you know, I would like to try maybe like mushrooms or something. I've never done anything like that. So I guess I listen to Joe Rogan too much. I'm like, oh, I'd like to try that. Okay. Rambling now. <laughs> uh, see if I got anything else to add. I hate to walk over here because it's so junky. Oh, I hate to show this. Uh, there's a big ass falcon. I got to clean up over here. So I'm not going to talk about this side of the room. Uh, got this big ass TIE fighter over here. Uh, this is more new stuff. This is stuff that's boxed up. I need to do something with all this modern 90s stuff. Top bomber is pretty cool. Always like the top bomber. Uh, got a Dr. Soren, my comic book collection. Again, this is all the junk over here. Got a Moe sign my daughter took when she worked at Moe's. I got an Alexander down here on the ground. Look, he's about to die. So, yeah. Uh, carrying cases. I got two carrying cases. I don't know if Jeff sent me one of those, but somebody did. Somebody actually sent me both of them, I think. Uh, 42, and sort of grew out of it. Yeah, a lot of people do their drinking young, I guess. Through the com I did a whole video on those comics. Look for it. It's on my channel. I went through all them old comics, dug them all out, and went, when did I get a divorce? I think it was two years after the Crystal Skull came out. Maybe a little longer than that. Ain't it bad? I can, uh, I have to time myself about what movie was out. Ain't that crazy? I don't know what year, I don't know what year my daughter was born, but it was two years after we, after Shakespeare in Love came out or something. Ain't that bad? Ugh, that's bad, that's bad. Let me feel where we're at. 64. Okay, you want to give away a shirt. Where's the camera at so I know the looks? I don't, take your hat off. Take my hat off. There we go. I need to comb my hair. There, everybody's like, oh, he's bald headed. I am getting kind of bald headed. But there you go. There we go. I just like wearing a hat. <laughs> okay, give away a shirt, guys. Um, there's a video I did. I'm going to tell you what video it is, too. Spinning top video. You know, where I take the top, spin on. And I didn't mess the table. I saw a lot of comments. The man ruined his table. You can kind of see here where I did it. But he didn't really mess it up. Okay. Get this right, email me, then go to the site, pick out a shirt, and I'll send it to you. But only if you're in the U.S. Again, I'm not paying to ship something across, across the ocean. But it's on the spinning top video. There's a reference or kind of a joke quote from a Seinfeld episode. I don't know if you're a Seinfeld fan. I like Seinfeld. So I kind of put it in there. It's not one of those common references like, yada 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 or the soup nazi something everybody gets but there's a quote a little inside joke for the tv show seinfeld 
If you know what it is, don't say it here. Email me, junk at starwarsjunk.net. Yeah, the Weezer one, the one with the spinning top. Junk at starwarsjunk.net. Put what the reference is and your address. First one gets the t-shirt. Also, go to thatjunkman.com. Go to the t-shirt page. Pick out a t-shirt. Just did an Andy Kaufman shirt. Just because I wanted it myself. Because I could never find an Andy Kaufman shirt I liked. So I made one that I like. Now I'm going to buy myself. And I said, I'll leave it there just in case anybody else wants it. Um, look at that. I was just saying, my wife just said you look like a younger version of me. You must be a good looking guy. It's better than my son. He always like, you look like Adam Sandler. Uh, what's we got here with the black people? Oh. Sorry, I missed that one. Man on the Moon. Man on the Moon. Andy Kaufman movie? Oh, yeah, I was talking Andy Kaufman shirt. Sure. Love Andy Kaufman. I like Man on the Moon. Uh-oh, my battery's about to die here. Battery's down to 15%, but then we looked at the junk room. And again, the comments are here. Let me know if you want to do more live. I need to do more live. Everybody's like, got to do live. Everybody does live. Live is the thing. Do live. Do live. Do live. And yeah, I tried to do it on my computer, and it looked awful, and it all messed up. Andy Kaufman was a genius before his time, man. Can you imagine Andy Kaufman today on something like Twitter, on social media? Whew. He, would, he was way before his time. Thanks for the live stream. It was fun. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Man with no name. That's a Patreon supporter. Man with no name. Patreon supporter. Thank you for being a Patreon supporter, and thank you for watching the live stream. We're going to end it here in just a second. You're the hardest working YouTuber out there, junk man. <laughs> Either the hardest working or the most bored is bored. I get bored. I'm like, I'm not going to make a video today. And then I'm like, I ain't got nothing to do. I'm going to make a video. <laughs> so, oh, but pass the word about the junk man. You know, I see, I saw a guy was, what was a Facebook thing. And it was like, these are my favorite YouTubers about vintage Star Wars stuff. And there's like 10 comments and nobody listed me. And I'm not trying to say I'm the best or anything, but when it comes to vintage Star Wars stuff, there's not many of them that focus on vintage Star Wars. I was like, how could you list? And how could I not be out of 10 people? I couldn't be there anywhere. <laughs> so, anyway, what's your uh, junk at StarWarsJunk.net or go to ThatJunkMan.com. You'll be able to email me there. Go to the About page on the YouTube, and it's the email address there. Or just find me on Twitter if you can't email me. I answer all my, I mean, I'm pretty easy to get in touch with if you do know. Again, to get a free shirt, there's a reference to Seinfeld in the spinning top video, the Weezer Mattel toy that a lot of people didn't watch. But it's starting to pick up. Uh, I had a bad week with views, man. Views were down like 70, 80% all week. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It's, I'm not saying it's you guys. I think it's YouTube not pushing it out. You're the most... Relatable of collectors. Well, thank you. I, think I don't have a huge collection. I get a lot of you guys say, let me see your collection. And I was like, I don't have like a big glass cabinet. And I don't have all this stuff. This is it, really. I, mean, I got some stuff in boxes, but when it comes to vintage and the stuff I really love, this is it. If it makes it over here, that means I really love it. But I'm running out of room. I was trying to move some stuff around today. So, this is about it. Like I said, there's some stuff in the boxes. But this is like, this is what I consider my collection, what I like. I uh, missed a couple of those chats. Sorry, they fade away. They fade away really. really they fade away really fast. Yeah, smack talk. Mm, well, I do some smack talking, huh? Look at this. This is fun. Look at this. Whoa! Oh, the squeaky chair. The squeaky chair. Okay, Michael from Retro is a good guy. Yeah, I ain't got no problem with him. We talked to him. I've talked to him. He was one of the first YouTubers that kind of reached out to, or kind of answered me. There's a lot of YouTubers out there not going to say their names. They won't answer your tweets. They won't answer your email. They won't answer nothing. He was the first one. I was like, I reached out to him about doing a video back two years ago, I think. And he was going to come on and do a little thing at the end, but it didn't work out. But that was my fault, not his. And we've, we've bickered back and forth about because he bashes a lot of the new stuff and I try not to bash new stuff. I might do a rant, a rant video every now and then. So we kind of go at each other sometime on Facebook. But uh, I ain't got a problem. I like him. He's a good guy. Um, I saw that video. You missed You missed it up. I missed it up. I messed up about every video I do. So I'm not sure I missed that one. Uh, I was on the Retro Buys uh, YouTube page. And I thought I was going to be on camera. And it was just all you. So I was like, man, got all purdied up for nothing. Okay, guys, I think that's it. Again, uh, you don't have video on your side. You don't have video on your side. Oh, uh, one last super chat for the... Oh, thank you, super chat. Jeff, thank you again. This means so much to me. 
Bruce, it's just his opinion. No, you're... Okay. I'm talking about the rip. Yeah, I can get into the rip, rip, rip thing. And I actually have. Look, look, I mean, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Smith Lord, the guy that makes them, sent me this one, did a review on it. I was fair, did a review on it. I don't agree with it. Um, but it says Smith Lord Collection on the back, so I like that. And it's, this is a figure that wasn't made. I have no problem with somebody making a whole new figure. So, like I said, as long as you stamp it on there, I don't want it in my collection. It's like I wouldn't buy a Star Wars autograph poster where some guy in his basement just signed all the names on it, signed Harrison Ford, and I want the real things. Some of you guys don't care. Hey, that's your prerogative. As long as you're not trying to rip anybody off or when you pass away or whatever happens to your toys, as long as whoever sells them, because somebody's going to sell them one day, it's not ripping anybody off, even if they don't know they're ripping anybody off, no problem with it. But I don't like it. I don't want it. It makes it really hard for people that want the real stuff to buy stuff on like eBay and stuff. I've had, but I've been ripped off. People's like, well, you should know. And it's up to you to decide what. You can't really, you know, you can get ripped off so easy. Anyway, I don't want to do a whole video about rambling about uh about the fake bootleg stuff. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I know me and Retro Blasting kind of disagree on that. Um, I don't think he has any in his collection, but he's not against it. But it's not impressive to me. You know, I don't want to say, hey, look at all these Star Wars toys I got. They're all fake. Hey. You know, and I've heard people say, well, I, want, I can't afford a Luke, let's say a Luke Stormtrooper. I can't afford one. Well, what you do is you take $10, put it aside every three or four months until you can't afford one. That's what I've done to a lot of these figures, you know. And the Smith Lord stuff, I mean, his Luke is like 100 bucks or something, 80 Take that 80 that you was going to buy his fake one, put it to the side, wait a couple of months, put another 80 and then, you know, get yourself up another. You can, you know, you can get them. So I, that's not a really good excuse. Is I can't. I'm talking if you're talking really rare stuff like thousands of dollars, of course. Uh, okay, again, rambling. I didn't want to get into this topic. I think I talked to death of it. But uh, junk man, have you thought about junk meet up a toy show? I, I would. I don't think I'm that. I mean, I've never been recognized outside of my videos. I don't think you know. I might. I'm gonna try to go to Star Wars Celebration. It might be just one day. Fly out there, do some video stuff, and come back. So it'd be great to meet up with some people out there if you go. Definitely, you know, I've got free pass last year. didn't go comic con free pass. We didn't go So I'm, this year. I'm thinking, okay I, Even if it's just go out there fly out there do something come back. I need to do it Oh, I'm sorry. I missed those couple ones also, but okay. I love your VHS collection. Thank you I just started getting them at a Goodwill. I just go to Goodwill and look and see what I can find They're Like I try to stick to the 80s stuff. I saw night of the comet and I talked myself out of getting in it, it was a dollar it wasn't even a dollar. I think it was like 75 cents. And then, it took, oh, I went back to get it and it was gone. Night of the Comet. So if you see Night of the Comet on VHS, let me know. I want to get that one. And my goal, my dream is get the rare Star Wars one in the, in the uh, clamshell. Uh, the library rental. That's hard to find. Stop ignoring my message. Junk, the, junkie the client. I don't get it. Is that, is that a junkie the client? I don't know who that is. Um, sorry, maybe you said something before that and I just didn't get it. But I guess that's it. Action figure grading, yes or no? As up to the person, I wouldn't grade anything unless it's something rare, yak face on card, 12 back card, something rare. If it's just a loose low bot, I don't see, I mean, I don't see the reason to grade it. And I see it on eBay. You can get a loose low bot for $10, or you can get one that's been graded for $80, even if you buy one. So, okay, guys, hold on here. I'm going to put that guy in timeout because he's an asshole. Um, always oh, trying to be funny. So he's in timeout. And uh, timeout, ha, <laughs> ha, Okay, what was I going to say? Oh, so grading, it's up to the person. I don't like it. I like to touch the figure. I like to look at it. If it's something rare, I can see, yeah, grade it. But other than that, I don't like, personally, I don't like it. I like to have something like this where I can just reach over, pull it out. Hey, look, I got my Luke. I can, so... You know, so I don't mind that. It's pretty cool. Uh, again, if you grade, that's fine. I just don't see the value in doing it unless it's something really rare. But that's just me again. You know, I want to I want to touch it. I want to play with it. I want to smell it. I want to hold it. That's part of the fun for me. Anyway, okay, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Um, think of something to do next. But, again, let me know if you want more live streams in the comments below. And until the next video, we will. Man, all these chats. I'm trying to read them. 
Great and dumb. I have a great uh, snake. Okay, okay. Let me ask you this. I just finished making a rocket fit bow from scratch. How do you feel about that as a custom? Well, I did. Oh, I'm about to drop it. Oh god, I'm about to drop it. I'm about to drop it. Well, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it. I've got a custom firing Boba Fett over there. Uh, again, I don't care about customs as long as mostly if it's something that was never made. That Boba Fett was never released, so go ahead and make it. Um, or if you're making it for yourself, fine. But uh, he's trying to sell it. You know, like Smith Lord, if he was selling his figures for like five bucks, but eighty dollars. Come on. You know, if you're gonna spend eighty on a fake, you can spend a hundred on a real one. So, uh, but yeah, the custom was never made. Like Han Stormtrooper, fine. You know, that's where I love custom figures. But that's just me. Uh, repo weapons are a problem. Yeah, that's my biggest problem is the weapons because they're never really marked. You can't really tell. The float test doesn't work. It's just really hard to tell which what is uh, good or what is bad. Yeah, it's, it's made it horrible to collect. I got, like I said, three figures I got to get weapons for, and it just makes it a pain in the ass to buy them anywhere. So I really hate the parts and pieces and the weapons and stuff. That's my biggest gripe more than the figures. Uh, okay, guys. More live stream, please. Okay, I'll do more live stream. Uh, uh, good to have with it. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I can understand why somebody has them, but why not make them totally different? You know, why don't make them a little bigger? Or make, well, you probably can do a little bigger. Why not a different color? Brown. Do them brown. Do them something that you can look at them and tell the difference. That's all I ask. Be able to tell the difference while having to research it and ask, go on Facebook and ask, is this real? And then get five different replies. Uh, I see that a lot, but Okay, guys, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Till the next time.